Hey friends, it's me, Christiana Gaudette. It is Friday, what is today's date? The 22nd, Friday, November 22nd. This is day two in my week of tarot gratitude. So some of you were able to join me yesterday or to watch it in archive. And so here's what we're doing. For seven days up to Thanksgiving, so the final day will be the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, I'm going to go live at some point during the day to do this simple exercise. Hey, Leisha, nice to see you. Uh, if you're watching with me, you can do the exercise with me. If you don't have your cards with you or don't have cards, hey, Karen, nice to see you. TK, two days in a row. Very good. Rogerio, glad you're here. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to be here with me. And if you're watching in archive, I appreciate you as well. So this is what we're going to do every day for seven days. This is day two. Uh, before I get started, let me just do a couple of quick pieces of shameless self-promotion. This Sunday, I've got two things going on November 24th at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Hey, Billy, nice to see you. Uh, did you go to FPG this year, Billy? I want to hear about it. Uh, Kathy, nice to see you. So, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Sunday, I will be live on YouTube doing a free workshop. I am part of New Beginning 2020. All day long, from hour to hour to hour, there will be live tarotists on their own channels doing free workshops all about the new year 2020. My workshop will be about predicting the new year, but also about how we can manifest what we want and need in the new year. So I hope you join me wherever, wherever in the world you are. It's 8 a.m. New York time. Um, do the conversion and join me on my YouTube channel, which is called Christiana Gaudette. Uh, now, for those of you who are local here in Palm City, I hope that you will join me from 4 to 6 Sunday afternoon for the tarot class called Tarot Tells the Story. You can find more information in the event section right here on my page. Hey, Kimberly, nice to see you. So here's the exercise. Here's what we're going to do. If you've got your cards with you, go ahead and do it with me and put your card in the comments and what it means to you. If you don't have cards and would like me to do this for you, go ahead and ask and I'll get to as many as I can. Uh, but here's the idea. How, whatever you think about Thanksgiving or however you celebrate Thanksgiving, I would have to say that the best part of it is this idea of gratitude, of giving thanks. Linda, nice to see you. So we can all right away think about many things that we're thankful for. But if you're going through a tough time, they may feel few and far between. And I think sometimes it is nice to ask the universe show me what I should be grateful for right now here today. So that's what we're going to do with tarot. And if you're a tarotist, this is a great exercise in reading in context. Because whatever card you get, you have to look at it as the context of what is this telling me that I need to be grateful for. So Christina, you've got Revelations Tarot. What a great deck. Let's do it. Yes, indeed. Let's get shuffling. And, and Linda, I will do one for you. The first one I'll do will be for me. And go ahead and do this with me. The question you're asking the universe is today. Um, oh, TK, you're here. Um, and uh, shall I pick one for your mom? Okay, yeah, I've got a few people asking me to pick. I will absolutely do that. Uh, those of you with your cards, go ahead and pick. And Kathy's already on it with the Two of Pentacles. Thankful for the fullness of my life and the ability to do it all. Beautiful, good interpretation in context. Let's see what I got. The Hermit. And this is funny because I've been having a conversation about the Hermit already this morning. So that's funny. So 
in the context of this conversation that I've been having, the hermit would oddly say, and would only say this to me in this moment, that I am grateful for the music that I love. But I'm not even going to explain to you, unless you happen to see the exchange on Tarot Nerds, I'm not even going to explain to you why. Although you could also say that you remember this card from the inner album cover of uh, Led Zeppelin IV. But, okay, what else am I thankful for? I am thankful that over the course of the years I've learned a lot. And although I'm getting older, my brain is still working beautifully. And so I'm able to utilize the wisdom that I have acquired. Okay. Hey, Julie, nice to see you. Okay, Kathy, well done. Uh, let's go back to... Do, 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 do. Billy did go to FPG and also plans on attending my holiday party, which will be a little ride for you. So I really appreciate your doing that. That is really, really, really cool. And I can't wait to hear what you thought about FPG. I didn't get to go this time, but, it, you know, some of my favorite people are there, including you. All right. So let's see. Do, 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 do. I am just scrolling back here. Okay, Linda was the first one. So, Linda Armstrong, my good friend from Pennsylvania, who I haven't seen in a million years, um, except here, so thank goodness for social media. So, Linda, what can you be grateful for today? You saw me shuffle. You saw me shuffle, and yet the hermit has come up again, this time for Linda. So it might mean something different for you than it does for me. And the thing that is coming to me today with the hermit for you, Linda, is about patience. To be grateful and thankful for your ability to be patient with the people who try your patience. See how that sits for you. Okay, Rogerio, let's take a look and see what we got for you. Okay, the Empress. Oh, Linda's even read at my holiday party in Pennsylvania. Yeah, we'll miss having you here. Okay, Rogerio for the Empress. This might be about being grateful for things you learned from your mother. Being grateful for your mother if she's no longer here. Being grateful for her spiritual guardianship of you. It might be being grateful for the other women in your life and maybe even for your own ability to nurture others. See how that sits. Okay, for TK, um, you gotta share the one you do for you and for your mom, for TK's mom. The high priest is reversed. I know TK's mom has some health issues and this would suggest the gratitude that comes when maybe you can't do everything you used to be able to do, but that you're willing to fight to do the things you can and the gratitude for that strength. Okay, uh, Kathy, we've seen your two of pentacles. That's great. Kimberly, can't pull a card at work. Yeah, I, uh, I sure wouldn't want to get you in trouble here. Uh, so let's see, one card of gratitude for you, my good friend, Kimberly. And here you are at work, so this makes sense. Four of Swords reversed. Be grateful for your busy life. And uh, much like Kathy, who got the Two of Pentacles, your ability to handle it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Kathy says these cards are unfolding like turning the pages of a storybook. Okay, Christina with her Revelations Tarot. What do we have? Five of Pentacles reversed. Grateful to know there is nothing to worry about and help is on the way. Beautiful. <laughs> Linda said, patient me? Well, yes, it looks like you're going to have to draw on that reserve. Okay, Brenda Nicholas, my good friend down the road. Any chance we might see you at our holiday open house this year on December 15th, my friend? You see how I get that in there, right? Okay, a card of gratitude for Brenda. Brenda, today, so this is a great exercise in reading in context. Six of Wands reversed. 
we don't always get what we want and we don't always win when we play, but we still have to be grateful for the ability to play the game, for the wins that we have and for what we learn from the losses. Does that make sense for you, Brenda? I hope that it does. Okay, Karen, so we're not doing, we're, we're doing only one question in these, and we're doing this every day for seven days. It's a marathon. Um, so I will pull a card for you, but only in regard to the question we're working with, which is, for what shall you be grateful for today? The Hierophant, so this is interesting. Because the Hierophant can actually, I can work it into your job question, because the Hierophant can talk about leadership. It can talk about being the boss or dealing with a boss in a positive way. This may mean a new job for you. It may mean a promotion. Now, the other thing, did I also see, Karen, maybe I'm confusing this with something else, but did, did I see an engagement for you? Because interestingly, the Hierophant is also a card that predicts marriage. So if that's the case, you know, that would be something to be grateful for as well. Okay, Leisha, same thing with you. I am not doing any sort of readings in this feed except for readings about gratitude. Congratulations, Karen. So you can be grateful for your fiance. And I saw a picture of him and, oh, he is to be grateful for. Very good. Um, and I, I'm saying that both because he's easy on the eyes, but also because energetically he feels good. Um, and I think the Hierophant in terms of gratitude regarding job would say something good as well. Um, and so, Leisha, I'll pull a card for you. But again, it's an answer to the question. What can you be grateful for today? The King of Swords reversed. So that's kind of interesting. And again, an exercise in reading in context. I would say be grateful for your wisdom in terms of what to say and what not to say in difficult circumstances. Okay, hey Puck, nice to see you. Um, no deck available. Okay, for what shall Puck be grateful today? The Ten of Swords reversed. So be grateful, Puck, that it's not as bad as it could be. Things are getting better. You are healing. Hope that resonates and always better to see that card reversed than not. Okay, TK got the world, grateful for changes. Oh my gosh, um, because the people I am with every year keep changing, it's so fast. Um, okay. Okay, Kimberly, if you're back, um, the Four of Swords, very much like the Two of Pentacles that came earlier, your ability to be busy, the fact that you have a busy life, your ability to handle it all. Okay, Julie says she needs some gratitude today. Here we go. Ace of Cups reversed. Julie, and again, a great exercise in reading and context. And would love to see you in class on Sunday, Julie. Hope you can come. And TK, I will answer your question in just a minute. Um, Julie. Be grateful for your ability to release the things in your heart that have not served you, to make room for new things. And TK, what I thought about with the world for gratitude for you specifically is, okay, for those of you who don't know him, TK is here in the United States. He comes from India and we've been doing readings, um, got no idea where he ends up next. And so TK, I would say gratitude for your ability to be yourself wherever in the world you are. Okay, Christine, nice to see you here. Christine got the Seven of Pentacles from the Star Tarot. She is grateful for all the work she placed in growing her tarot business and inner strength and grace, becoming more patient. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Well done, very good. Um, Puck says, absolutely, I survived a potentially tough library board meeting last night, and I'm grateful that all went well. Perfect. Hey, Sonia, I saw you've got an event going on. 
Um, very good. Glad you're here. So here's a card for Sonia. Um, what can Sonia be grateful for? The star reversed. You may not yet have everything you need, but it's on its way. Be grateful for your ability to manifest. Okay, very good. So that's a wrap for today. I want to thank you all for being here. If you're watching an archive, thank you so much. Every single day, today's Friday, from now till Wednesday, at some point in my schedule, I'm coming on here live to do exactly this. Seven days, one week of tarot gratitude in the lead up to Thanksgiving. Thanks so much for being here with me. Hope to see you tomorrow. Have a grateful day.